What is up guys and welcome back to Above the Middle, a place where we talk about all things personal development with me, Joe Gibson. This week, I wanted to talk to you about science. One of the biggest things for me in overcoming my anxieties in moving through mental health problems was gaining a basic understanding of how my brain worked. I don't understand why this stuff isn't taught to us in school. You know, most of us are living our day-to-day -day lives through a brain that we don't even know how it works. So the stuff which I'm going to share with you today, super, super important, really interesting stuff. And it's going to give you a really great understanding of why you do certain things. So if you're interested in this, please keep watching. If you're new here, then I'm glad to have you. Click that subscribe button if you're into psychology, mental health or personal development. I talk about it every single Wednesday and it would be brilliant to have you along on the ride with me. But without any further ado, let's get into today's topic. What are we gonna talk about? What we are talking about today is this brain area called the default mode network. What is the default mode network? Well, it's a series of brain structures which all connect together to serve one important function. And it's called self-referential thinking. So when you're not really focused on something and your mind starts to wonder about what some person said to you or how this relates to you or this past memory about you or a future scenario about yourself, all of these me, me, me thoughts come from this area in the brain. They all originate from this default mode network. So what is important to know is that this part of the brain is gonna light up when you're not really focused on anything. When you're not doing something that you're truly focusing on, that's when your mind's gonna start to wonder, which is why if you remember being in school and you listen to something that you weren't really interested in, you weren't really focusing on the lesson and you start to daydream, this part of the brain is gonna light up. So studies have shown that activity in the brain in this particular area is increased when you're not really focusing on anything. So this is really, really important to know because if you are somebody who is easily distracted, who finds it difficult to focus on things because you have a lot of stuff going on in your head, suffers with anxiety or depression, all of these things are gonna be mainly down to the fact that we have this urge to just go into our heads. If you're suffering with anxiety, you're probably spending a lot of energy thinking about future scenarios to do with yourself and worrying about that. If you suffer with depression, you're probably ruminating over past scenarios. If you have ADHD, you just have a tendency to be distracted by these stories in your head. All of these things come down to our tendency to spend more time up here and less time out here. Coming to my main point, studies show that you can stop this, or at least you can decrease these sort of thoughts. You can decrease the activity in this area of your brain. And I'm gonna tell you how. So studies show that people who consistently meditate decrease activity in this part of their brain. And this is something that you will notice if you do meditate, you will notice while you're meditating, your thoughts start to dissipate. Now, why is that? Why do our thoughts start to dissipate? What was I talking about earlier? Well, when you're meditating, you're usually focused in on one thing. So for me personally, when I meditate, I'm intensely focused on my breath. And going back to what I said earlier, if you're focusing in on something, it decreases the activity in this part of your brain. So your mind is not going to wonder as much. You're not gonna get caught up in those stories as much. So this is massive stuff. This is really big stuff. Because I get distracted by my thoughts all the fucking time. So what can we do in our day-to-day -day lives when we're not meditating in order to separate ourselves from these stories in our head. Well, we just bring ourselves back to the present. We realize that if our mind is wondering over something, that this part of our brain is active, and we know because of science that we can deactivate this part of our brain by focusing in on something. So if you are somebody who has a busy mind, when you feel that chatter going, bring yourself back to your breath, bring yourself back to center. When you do this, deactivate that part of your brain, your mind wondering is gonna decrease. Now this isn't gonna solve the problem, but it is gonna make your life much, much easier. 
And I feel like this is such a valuable tool that we should all know, guys. This is scientific facts right here about the way in which our brain works. So if you are somebody who is afflicted with anxiety, if you are somebody who does get carried away with your thoughts, somebody who gets easily distracted, there's a way that you can start training your brain to not get caught up so much in those thoughts. You can spend time meditating, which is scientifically shown to decrease the activity in that area. And then you can go throughout your day, bringing yourself back to the present moment each time you get distracted. But this takes consistent effort. The moment that you lose your focus, your mind's gonna to start to wonder again. And this isn't about completely eliminating thought from the equation because that is never gonna happen. You're never going to be able to get rid of your thoughts. I don't think anybody really wants that. But we do want to get distance from our thoughts. We don't want to be constantly ruminating about things. We don't want to be constantly worrying about things. We want to be able to bring ourselves back to the present moment to say to ourselves, I don't want to think about this thing right now. I have this story going on in my head, but I don't need to think about it. Wouldn't it be so great if we had a way to separate ourselves from our thoughts when we wanted to? To look at a certain thought and be like, you know what, I don't want to engage with this thought right now. There is a way, and it is within your control. It just takes practice, it takes dedication, it takes consistency. But you can start doing that right here today. I am no expert. I am as bad as the next person of getting distracted. But at least I know there are things I can do to help myself in those situations. So take home message here is that there is a neurological basis to your wondering mind. There is a way to decrease those thoughts. It just involves focusing in on the present moment. And we should all learn more about how our brains work. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Click that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, let me know your thoughts on this subject. Have you heard about it before? Do you suffer with getting caught up in these sort of thoughts? And if so, do you have any more tips to help people? Let me know down below in the comment section. Check back next Wednesday for another video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you then.